This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we are going to take a look at the Lamy Safari Ballpoint Pen. This particular one here is from the 2020 Special Edition lineup. This is the Mango uh, Lamy Safari Ballpoint Pen, and I bought this one in uh, August of 2023 for 9 euros and 99 cents plus 1 euro and 90 in shipping. So I got this item. Um, to my door for under 12 euros, which is price-wise for premium pen, I guess, fine. Um, Looks-wise, I think this does look really nice. This shade of yellow, orangey yellow that we have here, this mango color is absolutely gorgeous. It is much better looking in person than it is uh, on the pictures online. I think online it does look a bit brighter. In person it's a bit slight bit darker, a bit more orangey maybe. It's, it's very pretty, I think, very pretty. And I, I do not regret this this purchase as, um, as an aesthetic decision. This was definitely the right decision to do. This is the, the prettiest uh, Lamy Safari ballpoint pen, in my humble opinion, that I've ever seen. Now, something that I don't like about this, though, is the fact that it doesn't really write the way I want it to write. It does struggle to start writing quite often. I can take my little food diary here as an example. Let's zoom in on that. So in the morning I uh, jot down my daily weight and you can see the here the, the seven. That isn't really written too well, is it? Now the six, it also starts to struggle there. The two is fine, but here the daily like workout that I do, I had to take this off twice. Got this with other things here. Here I had to take it off twice. There, you can see it does, it does struggle to start writing all the time. And that's not something that a ballpoint pen should do at all. Now, you use ballpoint pens because fountain pens are a bit too much of a hassle. You have to uncap them, you have to do all sorts, all sorts of stuff with them. A ballpoint pen, you just take, click, and you write with it. But it should start writing properly, immediately. When you have to write the first letter, twice, thrice, here I, I wrote it, I, I wrote it twice, maybe, maybe thrice even, here the 20. The start of these entries is always a, a bit of a, bit of a cock up, honestly, the toast here, look at that, it's barely visible. I mean, it's, it's visible, but it's, it's not visible in a proper premium pen visible way. <laughs> That's something that I really dislike about these uh, Lamy ballpoint pens. Um, I had I have used Lamy ballpoint pens before, this very one that I bought myself, uh, and I always thought that the refills on those were just old, dried out, just trash from, from years of use, whatever. But this one here was, was new, and it's got the same problem. And to me, that really is a problem. That's not something that there should be, that, that you should have to worry about when you buy something, a pen for 10 bucks. No, certainly not. Um, something else that is a bit annoying is that this right here is the um, the M style refill. The, the refill style, we take a look at that in a second. It's the M16 in black and this is the M tip size. They have got an F, I think, an M and I think, I think they also have a, a B, which is the, the bigger one. Bright, big, bright. No, not the exact translation of that, but I think maybe they thought of those words when naming it B. Um, this is quite quite scratchy. When you've got a, a notebook like this, this is like a regular like soft cover mold skin pocket A6 size. It is a bit scratchy. Um, if I take some page here, maybe I can write down something at the very end of it. Maybe you can hear this. It does scratch a bit. It is a bit scratchier than a regular ballpoint pen. It's usually, usually ballpoint pens are virtually silent. Like the big uh, crystal that I used previously was, was pretty much silent. You didn't hear it at all. This right here, you always hear the little, not the ball, but the side where the ball meets the actual like shaft of the refill. You always hear that scratching on the paper when the paper is soft and or slanted or, or angled in a certain way. When it's not 100% flat and you have got the perfect angle to write um, uh, any letter you want with it. And that's a bit of a problem to me. Um, th this is certainly not something that is comfortable. It is very uncomfortable with, with uh, rougher paper, with sh paper. This paper right here isn't good, but at least it is smooth, so it's not that big of an issue. When you've got this like cheap recycled paper from Aldi, 
you really don't want to ride on that with, with this thing right here, I don't think. No, that's not going to be too comfortable. Um, this is the second thing that I really dislike about this particular item. Uh, thirdly, the ink flow, that could be a bit stronger too. Now maybe this is also fixed with the B cartridge that you can put in here, but it, it could be a bit richer in color. Um, it's quite a quite a shallow black that we have here. Yeah, that's that's something, maybe that's just personal taste. That's not too big of an issue, but that's something I I see myself as being not so great. Now thirdly, something that is actually very annoying about this is that you can only use Lamy refills with this. Um, we said that this uses the M16 style refill. Now here you have the, the tip with the little spring in there. Um, this, this doesn't come out, it's kept in there. You can pull it out if you want to, but I wouldn't do that because it inevitably you will sort of bend it back and forth in a way that really shouldn't be bent, I don't think. Um, this looks copper-like, maybe it's copper, maybe it's not, I've got no idea. But this is the classic M16 Lamy refill that we have here, M, and it's black. Yeah, it's, it's a more modern one. Uh, you can see these with like different writing patterns, I think, on here, depending on what year you bought them in. <laughs> you can get different colors for these, uh, red. I think with the M you can also get a green one, with the uh, F, the B, I think it's only blue and black and maybe something else. Red, red, I think it, there was too. Um, in here you can't really see too much, yeah, it's a, it's a barrel of a, of a ballpoint pen, that's really all that there is to it. And that's already it for field stripping, for disassembling this, to refill it. Um, yeah, des design-wise, yeah, I like it, but the fact that this design forces you to only use these M16 style refills is a bit unfortunate, because there are so many different inks out there. You've got your regular ballpoint pen inks, and you've got your gel refills, and you've got your, your hybrid ink refills, whatever. If you want to try all of these out, you have to do so with a different pen. Or you have to get a converter, like a 3D printed converter thing, so that you can use these D1 style refills from, I don't know who, who makes them. Um, some companies do make them, many companies do make them. I've never, I don't think I've ever used them, but I, you have to get something else. You have to buy something in order to use that in this thing right here. And that's a bit, a bit unfortunate, I think. Yes, the, the um, compatibility with, with other stuff isn't really there at all. And that wouldn't be a problem if these Lamy refills were fantastic to, to write with in the first place, but they aren't, and that's the issue. They are not, and you have you have a bit of trouble to, to find something that is a lot better than they are in this form factor without using a converter or something like that. Now, something I can also say is that this is quite draggy. Now, this is down to the refill. Again, maybe that's better with the B refill, but it is quite draggy, and the position that you've got your fingers in right here for the dragginess of the refill, that's not really something I like too much. There are many other ballpoint pens that, that look less comfortable than this, but actually are more comfortable because A, you can alternate your grip a bit more easily. You can move up and down the, the, the shaft of the barrel here, the shaft, the barrel, the barrel of the pen here, um, in in just the way you like, and and here you've, you're sort of limited to the most uh, forefront of this particular grip piece right here. If you go any further, you can actually do that, but it's it's not really getting too too much more comfortable with it. And when you're using it like this, which is my favorite position, you always have this clip touching your your hand in some weird way, which isn't too great either. Yeah, that's also something that could be probably fix the, the writing comfort with a better refill, but in, in my humble opinion, not with the Lamy refills, at least not any of the Lamy refills that I have ever used. Something else, uh, this is going to be the last point uh, that I have about this, is that this particular seam right here, you can hear it, they could clean this up, I think. This is, I guess, where the two molds for the plastic meet, and there you have this seam there, they could grind that down. It, it wouldn't hurt them, I don't think. Like they, They've been having this sort of ridge for many, many years. Maybe it's part of the design. Maybe I'm just too ignorant to, to notice that. But I think, I, I see this as a bit of a flaw, actually. <laughs> I like um, these sort of grooves, ridges, whatever whatever they're called, to be cleaned up on, on work pieces. And here they clearly don't bother, which is a bit unfortunate, I think. Oh, I haven't given you a close-up of this here. 
here we have Germany, here we've got the Lamy writing here. Oh, something else is that, that that's maybe something um, for these colored uh, back pieces here, these co colored rubber uh, covers for the point, for the push button. This here is a bit of a more of a, a bit more of an oval shape here, you can see right there. With the black ones, the regular style covers, that doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. Maybe this is just because they use a, a slightly different composition, a slightly different recipe for the particular material that they put on the back here. Maybe that's the case, yeah. But um, I think this is already what I wanted to say about this. This is all I can say about this. I do like this aesthetically. It is very pretty. It's a nice design, but there are many drawbacks to it. And when you want to get a pen like this, then do so for aesthetic reasons. Or do so when you actually like these Lamy refills. Maybe you've used them before. But don't get this expecting a fantastic writing experience, because I cannot really recommend it for that particular reason. Um, if you've made different experiences with the writing experience of these M16 refills, please let me know in the comment section below. I would be very interested whether or not you you agree on this particular point that I have, or if you disagree. Uh, most people that I know that I've talked about ballpoint pens with, I'm, I'm so boring, I know. <laughs> um, most folks really I see eye to eye with in this regard, and um, yeah. Maybe they, they really don't want to change anything because they know that you can only use these Lamy M16 refills with these and um, because of that they don't need to do anything about this. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to end this particular video. Uh, if you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below and if you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe. In any case, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then.